What is up, you guys? Episode uh, 94, Part 1. Uh, Unforgiven. We got the first matchup right here. Brandon versus Paul Heyman. Brandon making his return after injury. If you guys haven't heard of the injury, you guys can uh, go on Wrestling Amino to check that out or uh, watch previous videos to figure that out as well. So, uh, we got to talk with Brandon before his match and when he returned to the arena this morning. And to see his reaction uh, when he found out that he, he's fighting Paul Heyman made him happy. Like, he jumped for joy. Because he said, it's time to get revenge and finish what I started. He said, Project B is in full, in full action because he's going to finish what he started. This war isn't over. Brandon coming out with new music, new entrance, new attire. He's showing that he's ready. Paul Heyman, um, as you can see, wearing some, uh, a very unlikely tie that you usually see. He's wearing, uh, a CM Punk type, um, shoes, or kick pads, as you would see. He's got the Curtis Axel entrance, uh, movie. He's got the little thing of, uh, like the thing of Brock Lesnar, Triple H shirt, Cesaro, he's kind of using the Paul Hammond guy stuff, but yeah. Paul Hammond was not really okay with this match, but uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels like you gotta show him that uh, the authority is on the top. So yeah. Here we go, and this one's destined to be a human demolition derby. But uh, yeah, here we go. We have also asked Brandon uh, his thoughts on the current attacks from the big show to Chris Jericho and how everything's going down. Brandon said, well, I knew that uh, when you become champion, it doesn't, it changes you because you don't just say, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I promise not to turn on anyone. It's gonna happen. You're gonna turn on them because you got all that power and you don't want to lose it. So. It's just very terrifying to see how this all goes down. Ooh, elbow. Paul Heyman has uh, been backstage talking to a lot of uh, superstars and divas or female wrestlers about how everything should be done on how the authority thinks that the uh, roster should go. And not everyone has been listening to him. Some people will follow him, some people will not. So, yeah. As you see, Paul Heyman getting a little comeback. Uh, Brandon has been out of uh, action for a while, but. Yes. Yeah. Right now, uh, it looks like Brandon has a little bit of ring rest. Oh! What's this? Fisherman suplex, oh, right on the apron. It's got to hurt a lot. Look out, look out. Throws him right in. Heyman trying to get the head of Brandon, What's but he uh, he's failing. What's he doing with those Heyman's steps? got steel steps. This is a uh, no disqualification match. So anything can happen. Now back to the ring. Oh. Um. The superstar capitalizes. Oh! What an impact from the knee! Oh! He does it again! The tide has turned again! They're gonna fight to the end! As well, uh, talking back to Brandon, he says that he does, he Project B is not uh, alone. That there are more coming in for this uh, revolution, this project. 
Nice gut check time. Heyman, uh, right now is struggling to get out of the submission hold. Uh, we're seeing a little bit different things from Brandon. Well, Crouch is ran it for winning. The superstar wins. He's sending a message to Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Paul Heyman, Stephanie Jim McMahon, Brandon. and John Laurinaitis, if I'm not mistaken. Paul Heyman is, uh, really hurt as you guys can see. Well, thank you guys for watching the pre-show. We will see you guys in the next, uh, match, uh, which is Annie and Summer Rae versus Tamina Snuka and Naomi in a steel cage match. Later, guys.